Hello, hello, and welcome to this Mood Booster Strength Enhancer Overall Good Vibe Strength Session. Today's No Repeats workout includes sets of descending intervals. The goal is to increase the amount of weight you lift with each set. I can't wait to turn your mood in day around, so clear some space and let's get to it. All right, hello, hello. Thanks for joining me. Today we need dumbbells, a variety. We're not gonna be isolating our biceps and triceps. You don't have to worry about uh, some of those weights, more medium to heavy. Um, also, I am using two bands. If you haven't invested in bands for your little in-home gym, I highly recommend it. It's very inexpensive way to mix some things up and uh, give your muscles a challenge in new ways. So I'm using a hip band today. I also have this exercise band that I'm hanging high for a kneeling pull down. So hopefully you have a band there with an anchor that can go over the door. I have these anchor gym minis that I love. They also have door frame ones. So um, look into that. If you don't know where to look for something, um, like this or the other, just let me know and I'll send you a link. All right, but we're gonna get started. I'll have modification windows, so don't worry if you're like, don't check out just because you don't have this equipment, it's okay. There'll be a window for you, okay? All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna warm up. We're gonna start with that right knee up and around. We're just opening the hip. This is a tough one if balance isn't there, so please hold on if you need it because I want you to feel this movement rather than just focus on balance, okay? But if you're there and we can practice some balance with this hip move, let's do it, all right? All right, woo, up and around, up and around. We'll see how my balance goes on the other side, but we're gonna try to stick it with it for now. All right, we're gonna switch to that other side. Halfway there, so up and over. See if you can find the same balance. When we're balancing, a lot of times we're, we're doing all this stuff and we're focused on our movement, but we're not focused on what our core is doing, what, what we're doing here at the trunk. So I want you underneath that belly button, the navel, just kind of pull in a bit and then draw it up, okay? Nice and tall here, finding your balance that way. There we go. Three, woohoo, two, and one. All right, we're gonna go leg swings now. Feel so good. We have some ticking today. We have some things. This is a no repeats workout. Yay! So we'll be doing some variations of some similar moves, some body weights, some with dumbbells. Um, it'll be a lot of fun, but I have some cardio, abs, a little bit of everything. So we'll see how that goes. And we're gonna do them in sets today. So we're gonna stay with the same muscle group. Um, as we move through our sets. Woohoo! All right, let's go to that other side. Swing that left leg again. Finding balance here if that feels good. Or hold on if you need to. We got it. Oh, the birds are crazy today. I have the garage door open. My studio is in my garage. I uh, love it. The sun is coming in. The birds are chirping. Feels good, and we're getting a workout in. Woohoo! There you go. Back and forth, back and forth. We're gonna go to good mornings here, okay? Let's go ahead and stop there. I want you to interlace your fingers. Elbows are back, all right? We're gonna push our hips back and soften our knees. So start to push the hips back, soften the knees. They bend slightly. We're gonna come over until we reach parallel to the floor, what we call kind of tabletop, and then push the hips uh, forward to stand, okay? Just 30 seconds, move at your pace here. A very short time here, just warming up. Three, two, and one. And my ultimate favorite for warm up, bottoms up, okay? So we're gonna come down, touch our toes, drop that bottom between the legs here, and then reach up, keeping those fingers to the toes, trying to extend to those hamstrings as far as you can go. It's okay if they don't straighten out right now, but with each move, see if you can get a little further. Just don't force it, and don't work into any kind of pain, okay? Woo, three two, and one windmills, okay? We're gonna cross the body now to that opposite toe there and up, all right? Nice, gentle, smooth movements for now as we move through our spine here. Woo. We're just moving through all the joints in the spine, trying to loosen up a little bit. I don't know about you, but as I age, I need a little bit more time here <laughs> before I can really dive into it. Three, two, and one. Let's go lateral lunge here, back and forth, just our 
a lateral squat if you want to call it. Up and over, good. Just stretching out a bit. Let's go ahead and reach and open up outside that knee. And to the other side, same thing. Touch down in the middle here, drop the head. Three, two, and one. Arms out like airplane wings. Come on up. We have 30 seconds rest here. We're gonna start it with a little cardio. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10 is gonna be our intervals. We'll have a different exercise each time. I'll try to make sure that those windows pop up, but I'll be showing you no rest in between. We're just gonna keep moving, all right? Um, if you are ready to crush this workout with me, please go ahead and hit that like button, all right? It is time to get started with jumping jacks. Three, two, and one. Feel free to tap it out if you want. Tap it out or right here with me, okay? We can go high, we can go low. There's always an option, all right? You want to work out safely so that you can keep showing up and stay consistent. Woo! I'll have to say, how are you doing today? I want you to answer me. Send a comment later. Ask me how it went. How did you feel when you showed up? How did you feel when you were done? All right, we're halfway. We're over halfway here on this 50 second interval. These intervals will get shorter. We'll be moving a little bit with some higher intensity, but not much. I guess that's relative. <laughs> All right, today it might feel like much. Here we go, five, four, Three, two, and one. We're gonna skip now, okay? So right here with a little bounce. If you want, just march it, okay? Up onto those toes. Three, two, and one. 40 seconds. I'm gonna move, but you can stay on a spot with that skip. And remember, if bouncing and hopping is not for you, just up and down with that march. And maybe you're up on the toes, okay? And that's all we're doing. All right, it's not all we're doing. I know it's work. Here we go. We're halfway. Keep going with it. If you have more room, you can have a little more fun and move with big skips. Woo! Heart rate's raising. Don't forget to start your watch. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Mountain climbers from the floor. All right, you can tap or you can run it. Three, two, and one. 30 seconds here. I have a tendency to want to just kind of dump my belly here when I'm in a plank. I want you to draw in and up, zip it up. Woo, we're halfway. Come on, we got it. Press those knuckles into the floor. Three, two, and one. Squats, you can do squats, or you can find a squat jump with me. Three, two, and one, here we go, either one. Squat jumps, or just squats, just squat it out if that's, if jumping's not for you. It is not for everyone. It doesn't have to be for everyone. Woo, here we go, three, two, and one. Watch it, we're down, step it in, step it out, step it in. Step it out or jump in and out. Three, two, and one. In and out, in and out. Three, two, and one. Rest. All right, 30 seconds to go here. We're gonna hit our no repeat strength. Uh, strength exercise or circuits here. I'm gonna grab a band. If you didn't like uh, this workout and you are ready to get going, Go ahead, hit that like button for me. Get that band going if you have it. If you don't, don't worry about it. It's perfectly fine. Just work with me here. We're gonna step to the right with that squat and then step to the left. Three, two, and one. Step out and squat, back in. Step out and squat. There you go. Keeping those knees over the second and third toes. Nice and steady here. Don't rush it and get sloppy. When we start to rush, we lose control of those hips. All right, so I want you to focus here. Woo, back and forth, keeping that tension on that band. Nice, good squat. Feeling those glutes, those hips fire up. Woo, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. We are going one minute here. One minute on this first exercise. 
We'll have 20 seconds transitioning in to our second exercise with weight. Ooh, slightly varied squat. These are no repeats, but similar movements, okay? Three, two, and one. Wow, who felt that? Oh, I'm gonna feel that again tomorrow. All right, so goblet squat. I'm gonna go with the 35. All right, we're gonna work through this for 45 seconds now, all right? We're not gonna step out. We're just gonna work that squat. We're gonna try to keep those toes forward. The floor over the entire foot, knees over second and third toes. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Up and down. Keep that weight close to the body. Good. Now, as I go down, I feel a little bit like those knees were wavering. If you have a mirror, check it out there. See if you can keep uh, that movement, that valgus, that knee caving in down. But let's move. Let's move fluidly as we have 45 seconds. See how many reps you can get in here today. 10 seconds, eight, seven, six, five, four, good. Three, two, and one. Nice work, we're going into lateral lunges here. You can stay with one side, a single side, and then switch halfway when I tell you. So maybe you just stay left because coordination isn't there right now. That's okay. If you want, you can alternate with me. Three, two, and one. I'm gonna go side to side with this movement. Notice where I bring my weight outside my legs and then outside my knees. You can stay with one side. I will tell you halfway if that's easier. Sometimes that's better for maintaining form than to switch it side to side. You will get there, keep practicing. Woo, 38. Ah, five seconds here. You'll switch sides if you're staying on one. Halfway, there you go. Side to side, keep that chest up, sit that bottom back, okay? So we wanna sit back like we're sitting into a chair. I had a good question from a client today, do we? Like push the hip out, now we push it back, just like we were doing a squat. Just that one leg is out and extended. So we're still sitting in that squat. Good, five seconds here. Three, two, and one, rest. All right, great job. That's our three sets there. We're going into chest now. We're gonna have a push up. We're gonna have a palms in chest press. All right, and then we're gonna have dynamic plank ups. Everybody's favorite, all right? A minute on these push ups, do your best. Find an incline at a wall, at a chair, at the back of a couch, a countertop if you need to. If you don't have those things available, you'll go from your knees. Three, two, and one. And because this is a long time, if you're at the floor, we can go all the way down, release those hands, and push back up. I don't want you pausing there too long, but just a little release on those shoulders and arms to keep moving a full minute here. And if you really need some time, do a little pull down. <laughs> there you go. Again, drawing in and up here, zipping up the navel, pushing the heels, the toes in, heels back, squeeze the quads, squeeze the glutes, make yourself rigid, okay? It's hard to push weight, you know, like dead weight, where we're just loose. It's hard to push that weight. And I know it's hard to also maintain a rigid trunk, but I want you to focus on it because it will help you steady yourself and push away. If you can do a full push-up, I want you to practice right now, squeezing those thighs off the floor and not rolling off of them. Three, two, and one, rest. All right, palms in, chest press from the floor. Palms in, a little more shoulder, this is gonna be hard. So it's not gonna be your heaviest weight. I'm gonna go with some 25s, it is 45 seconds. Maybe I could do 30. I lifted yesterday too, so we're just gonna see how this goes. Three, two, and one. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, I feel yesterday's workout. I felt it at the gym demonstrating the workouts or the exercises for my clients. Oh, trying to think what did it, but it's a good feeling. There you go, elbows in, palms in, neutral grip here. 45 seconds of work. Adding up here, 20 seconds between the first two exercises. And then I cut it back to 15 as we work some unilateral 
exercises. Ooh, this is a push. It's meant to be uncomfortable today, okay? It's meant to be uncomfortable. So just get your head in the game here with me. Three, two, and one. You can do it. All right, just 15 seconds. I'm gonna quickly put my weights away, but make sure we're ready to go for those dynamic plank ups. Kneeling or toe, we're gonna stay with that right arm first. Let's switch the lead to the left. Three, two, and one. Here we go, right arm leads us up, right arm leads us down. Up, down. Now, if you're in that kneeling position, that's fine. But try not to box out this way. Bring those hips down in line with the head and the spine, okay? And you got it. Woo, we're gonna take a little water break after this one. Up, down, up, down, you got it. Push away. We'll switch here. And when we're halfway. Halfway, good. Left arm leads us up. Left arm leads us down, all right? If this is not your dominant side, you're gonna notice a big difference. Maybe it's not as coordinated. Maybe it's also not as strong. It could be one or the other or both. But that's why we're working it. And we're already tired, I know, but you got this. Dig, we're getting uncomfortable today. We're challenging ourselves and our muscles in a different way. Three, two, and one, awesome. Woo, that got us through that. We have 30 seconds to rest. I'm gonna grab a quick sip. My throat is feeling a little funny. All right, now let's head to our backside. Glutes, hamstrings. Um, so we have a butterfly bridge, and then we're gonna go into a deadlift, a sumo deadlift out here. And then we have a reverse lunge to RDL. All right, yay. So let's come down. Let's start with that butterfly bridge. We're gonna bring our feet, feet. Oh boy, it's been a long day. Feet together, knees out. Here we go. Squeeze and lift. Back down. There we go. Up and down. I think this is a great way to, if we typically feel it in our quads and our hip flexors, we tend to feel our bridges with that, and I have people that do, instead of that backside, instead of your bottom, this is a nice way to flare open here, just leave those out, and really get into the bottom here, up and down. Palms up if you'd like. I'm barely tapping down here. Squeeze and lift, good. Keeping those glutes on and fired. Woo, there we go. This is a minute, so if you start to feel lower back or you're feeling a little tired, come down, squeeze again, draw in. Make sure we're getting those glutes to turn on. There you go, we're there, we're there. Come on, team. Three, two, and one. Rest, yes, that felt great. All right, we're heading up to that sumo deadlift. All right, so it's gonna be feet wide. I'm gonna go, even though it's gonna be tough, I'm gonna try two weights here on this one, okay? Maybe in 35s, oh boy, we'll see. Feeling like I wanna go for it. We're gonna go wide, so toes are wider than shoulder width apart. Shoulders are down and back. Here we go, we're gonna tap down in front with that bend, hips back. Squeeze the glutes to stand below the air out. In, and out. That's it, good. In, and out. We're bending, we're keeping those shoulders down and back. We're ripping that mat or that floor apart with our feet. We're engaging by squeezing those glutes. 20 more seconds to go here, team. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Great job. 15 seconds for that reverse lunge to RDL. I'm gonna go with uh, 20s on this one. We're gonna see, hopefully it doesn't get sloppy if it does go down on weight, okay? Three, two, and one. Here we go, step it back, and then find that RDL. We'll stay on one side. I'm on my left leg for now, and up. Reverse lunge, follow through with that RDL. If that single leg RDL is a little much for balance, just tap that toe back here into a kickstand. All right, reverse lunge. Or pick one of these to stick with. Maybe one is better for you than the other. Bending the knee hurts. Try your RDLs. All right, halfway, other side. Maybe that balance is really terrible and it feels better to work that reverse lunge for now. Pick one, you can always break it down. 
And again, that leg doesn't have to come up on that RDL. We can have a kickstand here, toe down, but still put that work and effort into the front leg. Woo! There we go. Three, two, and one. Love that one. Love that one. All right, moving on. We're not repeating. Plank to toe reach. Let's say a pike plank, all right? Do your best. If reaching your toes is too much, reach to your knees or cross over to your hips. If that's still too much, just work on pushing straight back in that pike and back out. Forget reaching for now. All right, you can do this. We have a minute at this, so pace yourself. If you need to, go to a plank hold if you have to stop. Three, two, and one. Here we go. I'm gonna reach my opposite hand to toe here. Opposing hand and toe touch. Woo. And again, like I said, this could be to the knee. A little bit less deep here. It could be to the hip even. Okay, you do you. Mind if I find your challenge there today? There we go. I'll let you know when we're halfway. We're, oh, we're halfway. We're halfway. Look at that. Time flies when you're having fun, folks. Time flies when we're having fun. There we go. Push it back. Good. In my plank, my shoulders are slightly in front of my fingertips, and that's just so that I have a little space here to reach and push back. Press those knuckles in, protect your wrists. Three, two, and one, rest. All right, great job. Pullovers from the floor. You can go with one weight or two. I'm gonna do two here, and I'm gonna go with my uh, 15s for 45 seconds. All right, here we go. Three, two, and one. Pull it over. Remember to stop where you still feel contraction under your armpit, okay? So if we go too far this way, we lose that, that contraction. Slow and steady, watch your shoulders. I have my dumbbells kind of pressed together here. They can work separately if you want, but I've got them pushed together, kind of helping each other out here for now. We are going to go with a single pull down next. And you can see my modification window if you don't have that band. Three, two, and one. Rest. All right. Feeling good. Like we should. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're going to go with a single arm kneeling pull down. Check out that modification window. You'll still be using your dumbbells. Three, two, and one. Make sure you have some tension. We're pulling straight down. Squeeze. Not only are we squeezing here under our armpit, but we are also keeping that shoulder down and we're squeezing our glute. We're drawing in at the navel. We're making our trunk steady and rigid. It's just 30 seconds on each side. So not, try not to pause or rest too much. We have five here, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides, okay? Same thing. I'll try to come out here so you can see. Here you go. This might be one of my favorites. Just make sure we have that tension, that you're feeling something happening right there under the armpit. Again, remember, send me a message if you're not sure where to find these anchors or an anchor for your door. If you're not sure what I'm talking about. Three, two, and one. Awesome. All right, we're going to get to some abs now. Three sets here, a minute, 45 seconds to 30. We're going to go knees up crunch. This is a full minute. This is going to be rough. Grab a sip of water. 20 seconds counting down. Now, last little set will be some different cardio to keep us moving as well. All right, this is great. Here we go, knees up. Hand, I'm gonna support my head. Feel free to reach towards your heels if you want, but for a minute, that's a long time. I like to support my neck. Three, two, and one, here we go, crunch. We're just holding those feet up. If it gets to be too much to hold those legs up, you can put those feet down. But for the time being, try to keep them up there, hold them up, blow that air out. As we come up, draw in and up at the navel, just under the navel. 
and focus on that. Focus on engaging. Try not to just move your neck or just blow through this quickly without thinking about what you're feeling and doing here. Blow the air out, inhale. Lift the shoulder blades and shoulders off the floor. Good, we're 20 seconds to go here. Three, two, and one. We're going with a weighted jackknife here. If you don't want weights, just do the same movement without. I'm gonna try a 15. We'll see about that for 45 seconds. All right, again, no weight necessary. You can keep your back down if you'd like here, like my window, or we could come up high, okay? So let's start low here. Just keeping the back at the floor and safe, but we're still practicing drawing in and up, blowing the air out. If you wanna take this up a notch with me, we're gonna come up onto the tailbone into a full V up here. Well, single leg V up, but we should not feel lower back pain. So if you're feeling that, go back to keeping that back at the floor. Five seconds, three, two, and one, rest. All right. We have a half get up. I'm gonna go with a little bit of weight here. Actually, I think I'll go with 15s. All right, go with no weight. Just hold your hand up if you need to. Here we go. We're up one side at a time. Lift the hips back down, all right? And we could just do a sit up and stop there. I'm gonna go here, all right? So the option is to stop here and come back down. Well, I'm gonna go all the way up with a little bridge. 10 more seconds on this side and we'll switch. That's it, push those hips up. Try not to, or try to push through that foot that's on the floor here, push through the entire foot or the heel at least, okay? Other way, halfway. Here we go, ooh, up. Different side for me. <laughs> there we go, one. Good, come on, you can use your forearm to help push yourself up, it's not cheating. All right, help yourself get up there. Keep that weight right up over the shoulder. If we're having trouble stabilizing over the shoulder, please go down and wait, or no weight, ooh, ooh, like me at all. I want one more because we missed it out. We kind of started a little late. One more for me. Here we go. Come on, team. Ooh, I'm feeling it. Are you? Here we go. Last one. All right. Nice work. Next one. We have a little bit of cardio, okay? A little bit of cardio to finish off. Bump that heart rate up one last time. A little bit of conditioning here for you. So good. All right. All right. First one we're going to do is a lateral step butt kick. All right, well, actually, we're gonna go two kicks, butt kick, one, two, butt kick, butt kick, three, two, and one. So one, two, lateral, lateral, kick, kick, lateral, lateral, kick, kick. I kept this low impact. We didn't have a lot of jumping in here except for the beginning, which I gave you modifications for. Always try to keep a little bit, except for the ones that I write intentionally with some higher um, intensity, I do try to give you those modifications. Some of us need a little bit more, some of us don't. That's okay, we're all on a different page. Good, back and forth. One, two, one, and two, good. Stepping it out, and we can add a little hop if we want. Two butt kicks, one, two side shuffles and butt kicks. If you wanna bring it up, play with it. Have fun over there, okay? The more you do your things and mix it up, the more fun you'll have. Three, two, and one. Rest, okay. We have a high kick clap. So we're gonna come here and here for 45 seconds, all right? If that's a bit much, that's okay. Just work on maybe tapping your knees and staying low and finding balance. Hold on if you're trying to find balance with that kick today. Three, two, and one. Here we go, clap, clap. All right, I love this one. I don't know why. Some of these things just make me smile. I think because they make me feel like a kid. You can move if you want. 
You can stay in the same spot. All right, whatever feels good today, you do you. Modify, find your challenge, hang out there. Good. Really get that clap underneath, get that leg up there. See if I can hear it. 15 seconds. There you go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, we're gonna tap back and come up on the toe back and rock up onto that toe. Okay, up and back. Oh, here we go. Three, two, and one. 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. Here we go. Back and up. See if you can get up on that toe a little bit. Tap toe. It's tough. If not, just tap it back and stand tall. Maybe it's a small tap. Maybe it's a big tap. Woo, here we go. And we'll move to that other side. So again, low impact. Other side, that's halfway. Here we go, team. Woo, last one. And I knew coordination was gonna be a little weird. That's it, come on. Last bit of work today. You've made it through this 30 minute workout. We do have a stretch coming up. The workout itself, just 30 minutes long. I feel like it's been very thorough. <laughs> Here we go, three, two, and one. Oh, cool down, let's grab a sip of water. All right, nice work team. High five to you. Oh, I hope you enjoyed that one. I know a lot of my people, a lot of my clients love I know repeat. All right, and while the workouts change, it is okay to go back and play the same workout. Do it a couple times a week. I'm bringing new ones to you. For those of you who just wanna show up or are slightly bored, I know that we repeat enough of these same exercises for you to progress, even though they're mixed up slightly, all right? But if you're looking to really progress something, go back or uh, work on something and make it better, become more efficient at it, practice that workout. You can do it two or three times with a day of rest in between a week, that's okay. Especially if you like it, especially if you're working on something in particular, all right? All right, whew, let's go ahead and stretch. We'll start up, we're gonna bring that left arm across. I want you to look away from that hand and breathe. Good, let's switch. If you stuck it out with me and you really enjoyed that workout, please don't forget to like and maybe even subscribe so you don't miss our workouts. We occasionally jump around from posting once a week to twice a week with a calendar with links to do other workouts. If you're looking for something more personal, I do have an app that I can personalize a workout specifically for you. So contact me if you need something more of that nature. All right, nice work. Let's go ahead and stretch that chest too, okay? So many of us, including myself, may not look like we have poor posture, but we might find that we spend a lot of our time just slightly forward in the shoulders. We wanna practice rotating the shoulders down and back. This is a great stretch, just interlacing the fingers. If you can't reach and that's a problem, grab a band, grab a small towel, and grab, give some space here so you can lift and get that stretch. Yes, let's walk around here. Oh, keep moving here as we cool down. Oh, nice work, nice work. You know, every time I write a no repeat workout, I keep thinking, can I? I mean, there are no repeats, so no one should really be the same. <laughs> All right, let's get a quad stretch. Let's grab your shoelaces. You might have to grab something behind here. You could take your band. Say you really struggle because of flexibility. You can grab your band around here and pull that foot up as well to get a stretch in that quad. Ah, oh, if you're struggling, go to the floor, lay on your stomach and do it from there. Let's hold and stretch out. Keep those knees in close together instead of out here, okay? Pull them in, stand tall. Try not to lean into it, okay? Tuck that pelvis a bit, feel that stretch. All right, let's switch to the other side. Nice work. Notice I'm holding on now that it's the end of the workout. <laughs> Oh, here you go. 
Don't hold your breath. Breathe in for me and breathe out. Be present. Let go. We just put a lot of stress on our body. We kind of want to reverse it and reset. All right, we're going to go with our feet wide. I'm going to have you toe in here just a bit. Toes are slightly in. We're just going to hinge back and fall to the floor here. Tuck that chin. Hang out. Breathe. Feels uncomfortable. We can go a little bit wider and find a position that feels good. For me, a little wider feels better. Uh, let's walk over to that left side. Reach the outside of that leg. Pull that right shoulder over just ever so slightly. It's not a huge bend unless you're super, super uh, flexible. All right, let's go over to the other side. Walk it over. Grab the outside of that leg. I kind of like to get long through the spine and then pull in bringing that left shoulder over as much as possible. Good, let's walk it back to the center. Deep breath. Arms out like airplane wings, come up nice and tall. Walk those feet in. Give me a little back bend here, interlace those fingers, reach back, breathe. Not too far, you should be able to breathe. Let those arms go. And that is time. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. That was awesome. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thank you for showing up. I'm so proud of you. I know it's hard to make the time. I know it's always busy, life is busy, but make it a priority, figure it out, just like everything in life, pencil it in. Don't let anything get in the way of it. That is your time, block it for yourself. And I'll see you next time. Have a fabulous day, bye-bye.